Hey guys, I'm currently working on my IS. Um, this is a rear tow arm, and when you lower your car too much, this little doodad here ends up becoming no longer useful. More importantly, the adjustment that is made back here, sometimes when the... Well, we'll get to that in a second. What I did was I replaced it with FIG's engineering version, which is adjustable. And this is the part that I was going to talk about. This, these two pieces of metal right here, they're stamped steel. Over time, when people do alignments, these things get deformed really badly. And then that even screws up your adjustments even more. So to take care of that, believe it or not, this side's okay, but my other side is badly deformed. So these will help with that, but more importantly, this will help with my, my TRD setup. So now my toe will be right. Um, camber is... is is an issue but it isn't an issue as long as I have proper toe settings the camera I have won't exactly matter um, alright let's move to the front I'll go over what I did there and here is in the front we have a brand new upper control arm with ball joint if we try to go down and low and under maybe um, it's doubtful we'll be able to see it but we have a new upper ball joint I mean lower ball joint. We have a new inner tie rod. Here's the old one. Uh, here is a video that I filmed earlier of just how bad this tie rod is. Maybe it's this one. This one isn't that good either. Now, here is also a video that I showed how bad the old one of these were. Now, the funny thing was is that I initially wanted to change this because of how bad the bushings were back here. I didn't even bother to think about how bad the ball joints were. So, here's that video. This is what I've been doing all month, is uh, trying to get this car ready for this season. Uh, earlier in the year, we went to these really, really nice StopTech uh, stainless steel brake lines. And of course, there's my TRD suspension, my Hotchkiss sway bar, some of my Cusco bits, at least one that you can see. Um, I up I changed my brake pads earlier to, oh, earlier this year and also changed brake fluid to dot four. So this year has been the year of the IS three hundred. The eight six will be getting its its day, but for this time around it's for for now it's the IS three hundred's day. Um now I'm gonna go in the house and show you some more goodies. So the reason why I brought you inside, because I wanted to show you this, this is an automatic transmission mount. Now I haven't decided yet the course of action that I'm going to do with this mount. There are not many companies who make aftermarket mounts, like poly mounts, for the automatic transmission of the IS300. So I was considering making my own, which will be a full DIY video if I choose to do that. If I choose not, I'm probably just going to stick this new one in. So, that's the real reason. Plus, if you notice right here, I'm not going to pan, there's a wheel sitting here. This is one of the four wheels for my Lexus. Just chilling, waiting to go in. The wheels are getting a dedicated uh, video. So, it's not fair to introduce to mention too much but that's uh everything I wanted to say it's like the car needs an alignment and then after the alignment we get to talk about wheels so this is A4Hachi signing off